Am I the asshole for wearing white to my wedding? I recently got married to the love of my life, Jay. We had a perfect wedding except for one thing. My mother-in-law's freak out when she saw my dress. When we had gone dress shopping, I invited her and I found my perfect dress. My husband's family has a tradition of always wearing blush dresses on their wedding day. They told me about this before and I respectfully said I would wear whatever color dress my perfect dress was. Once I finally found it, it was white. Mother-in-law asked me to ask if they could alter it to make it blush or to find a new dress if they couldn't. I said I would ask, but if they couldn't, then that was that. Long story short, they couldn't, and I showed up to my wedding in a white dress. All through the ceremony, mother-in-law was seething. During the reception, she pulled me aside and asked why my dress was white. I told her that I didn't want to find a new dress and they couldn't alter it. She said it was a tradition and she was disappointed that I had broke it. Jay also said that he was disappointed when I walked down the aisle in a white dress. Was I the asshole? That's the husband? Yeah. Wow. Was, really? Was I the asshole? I could have just changed my dress. No. Uh, fucking no. I mean, cool. I get it. I get it. Traditions are super fun, but I honestly think traditions can be toxic. Hot take. <laughs> yeah. Like that hymen one we had on one of the <laughs> yeah, first episodes. Yeah. Fucking like tradition to check a hymen. It's a tradition. Come on. Ugh. Like, no. Just because you put the word tradition on it doesn't make everything okay. Like, if you want to have the dress of your dreams, it's your day. I keep saying this. Like, normalize the fact that if it's your wedding or your life, you do what makes you happy. <laughs> normalize that. Yeah. Well, and I'm going to be honest. Like, I wouldn't want to wear a blush dress if it was like, if Justin's family came to me and said, hey, it's a tradition to wear a blush dress. I'd be like, hey super happy for you guys that sounds great but like my dream has always been to wear a white dress yeah like that's just that's and, like, my dream i honestly think it's like nice enough that she was so open to it yeah like, the fact hey, that she's ask. like yeah like if i could get it tailored like some people would be like fuck no like because obviously traditionally in a lot of traditions so it's like for them to like go off the like <laughs> Sorry. You good, bro? For, yeah, for them to like go against the grain and want the blush one and for her to be like, yeah, like I'll look into it and actually genuinely like consider it. Mm -hmm. That's so kind. And for like, yeah, for like the mother to be seething during the wedding, okay, it's not your day. And for the husband to be like seeing her down the aisle and also be upset, like, what it's your it's like should be the best day of your life. You should, no matter what she's wearing, you should just be so like. Well, and to tell her that. Yeah, and to tell her that. That's that's a super really nice happy wedding day. No. Oh, that's so sad. That makes me sad. Also, like, that's, I think there's, again, one of these things where it's like, you might be thinking something. Like, for example, and I always run this risk when I say stuff because, like, Justin edits the podcast and he, he honestly could be here already. But, like, I'm not going to say it. Never mind. What? No, we want to know. <laughs> so, we ordered, like, Thai food the other day uh -huh. and um, he ordered it to the wrong restaurant that was like 10 minutes away versus the one that was like right in front of us that we were at mm -hmm. like it's like across the street from his mm -hmm. house and like I didn't say anything I held in my my sadness and like yeah you <laughs> sadness. <laughs> but you don't like just because you you might think something doesn't mean you always need to communicate that to your partner wait sorry hold up was that what you were worried about cutting out <laughs> yeah I just don't want to hurt his feelings you're so sweet I just love him Aww. but um yeah, I just think like there's certain things where it's like objectively, she probably still looked beautiful. Yeah. The color of dress isn't going to change that. Yeah. There are some comments from OP. Uh, so someone goes, you're the asshole for not being honest. You could have just said you didn't want to wear a dress like that. Or you could have told them before the wedding, your dress is white. Okay, that's actually a good point. I kind of I kind of skipped over that, but I was thinking that. Why didn't why were they all surprised when she came out? Like, I think because she said, like, because the mother-in-law was like, can you alter it? Or, like, if they can't change your dress. But she said, I will look into it. And if not, then I'm not going to. Yeah. So her response is, I was honest. I told her that I wasn't going to do it. But she said that she thought I was joking. What? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> he sounded like a velociraptor. I know. I just love responses like that. Oh, 
What? Okay. Okay. So next comment though. Mm -hmm. Not the asshole. Why is it a tradition that they wear blush? I'm just being nosy. OP goes, apparently Jay's great, great, great grandma wore white and she died right after, as well as some other deaths in the family associated with wearing white on your wedding day. But Jay's great, 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 great aunt wore blush and she had a long, happy marriage with lots of children and didn't die until she was 90 or something. Whoa. I don't know, really. Okay, honestly, that's kind of a dope tradition then. I still wouldn't do it, but that's really cool for them. Would you do it? Yeah. <laughs> I guess I do. Well, let me, I don't know. I think that's kind of dope. Like, there's look up blush wedding like, dress. I guess like, I don't I could I feel like I couldn't not after that story like married is, to the family I don't know I just yeah it is I yeah okay I might buy into it I think I would buy into it you could it. also have two dresses you could have your actual like ceremony in a blush yeah. dress and then change into a white dress my friend Noelle got married and she had two dresses last weekend yeah like two dresses you can switch yeah a lot of people do that nowadays because like your wedding dress even with it bustled Mm -hmm. With your train tucked up. Yeah. It's still like really hard to dance in and not, you can't move around. And so she put a shorter one on. Okay. I'm Googling or not Googling. I'm Pinteresting blush wedding dress. Okay. Okay. I I see. There are some beautiful options. Ow, ow. That is sexy. Okay. I could get behind this. Yeah. I'm on board. I still don't think she's the asshole, but like if this is technically no, I don't blush, think I don't think she's the asshole either. I'm that's just, beautiful. It mm -hmm. almost looks like a really it still looks white in these pictures. I don't think she's the asshole. I just think it's a really dope tradition. So I, I get it now. That's beautiful. Oh my god. Okay, maybe I want blush. That escalated quickly. Yeah, right. <laughs> I think I was envisioning like I guess for me, and maybe these photos have filters on them. For me, it's corn. But like that, that's okay. That's as blush as I would get. Yeah. But there's this other one. It's really pretty. There's this other one where I would not be on board. This one would not be on board. That's too pink. I hate the color pink. What? Really? Yeah. Or not hate. That's too big, strong. I, I like pink. I just I like light pink. It's not my favorite color. Mm. It doesn't look the best on me. But yeah, cool. I mean, I've I, it's grown on me. This has grown on me now. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think that I still don't think she's the asshole. But at no. the same time, it's like... Maybe she should have made it a little more clear to them so that they yeah. weren't so shocked. Yeah. You know? Well, and I I know, like, for a bride, it's kind of, like, involving the husband in this a little. I know for a bride, like, oh, how do I word this? I, what were you going to say? I was just going to say, I'm still mad that the husband was, like, disappointed when she came to the aisle. That pisses yes. me off. Well, and so here's what I'm going to Unless he was to, like, you're going to die. Like, maybe you know I mean? well, maybe yeah. that's why. Because yeah. he's... He's fully bought into yeah, this. This has been his right? family tradition forever. Yeah. And he's, they've probably constantly talked about this, especially mm -hmm. when he got engaged and stuff like that. Right. And I think a lot of times we associate like, oh, the wedding is mostly planned by the bride or, you know, and obviously that can be very different for LGBTQ plus couples. But oftentimes there's like this pressure to be like put on a bride where it's like the bride plans the wedding and weddings are mostly for the bride. And maybe that's like a misogynistic thing. And I think sometimes the guys or people that identify that way or maybe the other person that's less involved can sometimes be forgotten about or decisions aren't mm. made with both people. Yeah. And so when it comes to a wedding dress yeah. or a tux or whatever is mm -hmm. traditionally worn, it's like the bride picks out her dress and then the bride goes with and helps the groom picks out yeah. his tux. And that's just kind of a common yeah. thing. But it is interesting because there's like also the... I almost said conspiracy, but tradition where the groom doesn't see the bride before. Yeah. Otherwise, that's bad juju. Yeah. But it might have been nice, like, given this family tradition, to have that be a part of the conversation and be like, hey, are you going to be disappointed if I don't follow I your family's tradition? I agree. And wear, I wear white instead. Mm -hmm. Like, I think that's, like, kind of, like, as your partner, you should have given him that yeah. respect. Yeah, totally. I 100% agree. That was a long-winded answer no, to, like, get no, to what perfect. I was trying to It was perfect. Articulate. I actually really, really liked it. <laughs> but that's not, tr like, traditionally something you think of. Like, right. a lot of people are like, oh, the bride? The bride, hands down, picks her dress. Bottom line. Right. And it, and it, it really should be, like, so much more. I mean— a fucking relationship is a compromise and communication and working together. So it's like the 
the bond of that should also embody that too. Yeah. I think at least right? if there's a tradition extent, like that involved. Yeah. And there's so many people that would be like, oh, no, honey, I don't care what you wear. Whatever you feel happy and beautiful in. Yeah. It's so depends. I still, I still think like it's her day. If she found her fucking perfect dress at that's amazing. If it's also his day, if he has some like very deep rooted tradition that makes him afraid that his wife's going to die if she doesn't follow it, then it's like very fair that he expresses those things too. And that's where you just need to meet in the middle, have that conversation and like be really real with each other and figure out a compromise. Yeah. Uh, so top comment at this point in time with 3000 upvotes says, wow, what a memory to have on your wedding day. Next comment, not an auspicious start. What is auspicious mean? I don't know. Let's look it up. Also, what is that cahoots thing that you have over there? Um, that's from a speakeasy in London that me and Justin went to on our recent trip. It's like their menu. So we we so thought cute. it was just like really cute. So we you framed it. I we love framed that. it. We get crafty with weird stuff. I love that. Auspicious. Conducive to success. Favorable. Mm. There is another comment that uh, they go, mine pulled me aside at our reception and said, quote, did we just make a huge mistake by getting married? I was obviously hurt, <laughs> but kept it to myself and reassured him we did not. 25 plus years later, and I'm asking myself, how much longer can I do this? The answer, hindsight. It's always 2020. Whoa. But one should pay special attention in the moments because sometimes we fight for things that aren't really worth saving and you realize it too late. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Holy, that was a deep comment. She goes, edit to add. I forgave multiple internet emotional affairs and one meetup where they didn't sleep together but fooled around in the car in a McDonald's parking lot. So classy. I chose to fight and try to save the marriage as my vows are incredibly important to me. And it's why, am I, and it's why I am still here, partly anyways. It's a complex situation and this post isn't about me, so I don't want to hijack it. Just saying to OP, Think long and hard about what you want and what you are willing to tolerate and forgive. Keep your boundaries clear and visible. Be your own advocate and don't let anyone change you. Oh, I love that. Yeah. I really do. Yeah. And this person, they um, go, we were 19 and 21 with a one-year engagement. We got engaged after 10 days of knowing each other, living together after one month and married one year and one month after we met. Young, immature, but so in love. A lot of wisdom there. Yeah. It is a really shitty thing to say to someone like, oh yeah, I was disappointed when I saw you walk down the aisle. Like that's a <laughs> fucking stab in the chest. But I think when you are expecting one thing and you get delivered with like opposite results yeah. or different results, it like, it can be jarring and, you know, he was let Being down. honest, I guess. Yeah. yeah. But again, sometimes... Sometimes you don't have to say the things you're thinking to your partner. And yeah. it doesn't it doesn't hurt. 